But um, yeah, man. I love this event too. Wednesday Night Fights, this venue is always really sick. And uh, again, Thunder too. Shout out to Thunder Gaming. You know, yeah, of course. If you guys are wondering why there's no like, uh, there's no commentator camera, <laughs> yeah, it's just not working tonight. It's so not. yeah, if you're curious like who who these people are, I'm, I'm Jay Ribs, Aristale from Thunder Studios. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, both we just both got picked up from Thunder. It's crazy stuff, huge opportunity, and it's awesome. But yeah, guys, um, you know, we appreciate the feedback. You guys tuning in, watching everything. Again, my name's Aristale. And uh, I'm usually I'll, uh, I usually come out to Thursday events, but I think I'm going to opt for this uh, rather than the event tomorrow. I just feel like there's a lot more entrance and stuff. And I like hopping on the mic when I can. I usually go to three <laughs> to four. I, I go to like three or four events a week. I, I try to. It's fun, especially when you have these like high end, like high level matches. Like this right now, Razo, Razo versus Komei. Komei yeah. I have high praise for Razo. You guys all know Komei, by far the best Shulk in Japan, if not the best Shulk in the world. And Razo, I feel like, is a, a player that, with a little bit more representation, a little bit more traveling, could be one of the best players right now. Definitely in the West Coast, definitely in North America. So I agree. Shulk's scary, too. Yeah. He's a good character. Oh, no doubt. Nato, the arts, all that stuff. Actually, we even saw an announcement today on uh, Xenoblade uh, Chronicles, which was cool. The kind of remastered addition to all that, which is super sick. Um, but yeah, we're just going to start it off with Pokemon Stadium 2 here. Going to hop right into it. And uh, starting off with Buster Mode already here, you just don't want to get that extra pers uh, damage on Razo here. Again, being a double-edged sword, but uh, look at that already, 80%. And here we are in Smash Monado Arts, such a scary situation um, at the ledge. Uh, Shulk also being one of those characters that's so good at ledge trapping, um, especially because his sword being the disjoint that it is, it's just massive. Yeah, Shulk, a lot of people are putting Shulk like top three, top four in the game, but he doesn't have as much representation, especially at the highest level, other than like Komei himself. Komei, Nico, yeah. obviously from SoCal. And his results realistically just aren't there. Like we haven't seen Komei or, or Nico win any S tiers, A tiers. So I, I want to see it. I want to say, you know, Shulk is that good, but so is Peach. So this is definitely going to be a good representation of both of these characters played at the highest level. Yeah, he's hard. And uh, right there, which actually was really smart from Komei, I like how he opted for uh, the shield arc mm -hmm. there because it kind of is a combo breaker. kind of stalled out the combo that uh, Raza was doing and put him in a better position. And then he just changed his Minato really quick to uh, jump. So really nice stuff from Komei there, getting out of that situation. But again, off stage. Uh, the big turnaround, there's that. Reading the jump, get up there with the fair. Nice way to close out the first stock. But yeah, right back at you. Up B out of shield with Smash Art. You are definitely going. And these two played each other in winner's finals, and Razo lost 3-1. It was 3-1 in favor of Komei. Um, and I know Razo, as he's playing Master Mario, he's thinking about how can I adapt versus Komei Shulk. So let's see if Razo actually has the adaptation. He's neck and neck with him right now, but he's going to have to do something. Wow, so quick to switch to the shield to get out of that combo right into the jump. But Razo not missing a beat. Goes for the down Ooh. smash, but he goes above the ledge with the up B. Now here comes Speed Monado. Hey, really nice up uh, B reverse up uh, shield there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> both of these characters have a de decent up B, but up B out of shield is very good for Shulk. Now the smash Monado and the so ledge guard. Scary. You it's know what he wants, dude. Go off fair. Back air, he's looking for something there. S relentless off stage, ledge trapping, all that stuff. But again, kind of seeing the reversal here. Nice. Get a punish. Wow. And Komei trying to run right through gets caught by Razo's down smash. And now 147%. Ooh, that really? up was pretty safe. That was pretty, yeah, exactly. Super safe. Just going to re-grab onto that ledge there. Now we're in, uh, yeah, the shield. Okay, actually hopping off of it there. Opting for the Buster Art there. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely going to die for that. Need a little more knockback when you're in uh, Buster Art. For sure. Smash Mono. Smash Art, I don't know why I always say Monado. Out again, oh my gosh, that backer. I thought that was going to connect. Definitely would have taken uh, the stock. But again, trying to go off stage with the upbeat. That was a nice low recovery, but Razo struggling right now to get any stage positioning. Komei almost gets the back air, but now Razo forward smash. Razo getting a little bit too optimistic. Ends up running into a forward smash. Now a last stock situation here, grand final. Yeah, that's looking good. How about this huge down there? It's such a massive hitbox. Or hurt box is crazy. There's a down throw into the bear there. A small combo coming up from Razo. 
Like this pressure coming out from both players. Okay, the nice parry into the grab there. Again, some kind of rods are really on point with these uh, parries here. I don't know if you've even been seeing this. And the and the counters too. Yeah, Ra in in, in uh, Inland oh, Empire out. we call Razo like parry god. Like his reaction time, his uh his parrying is very good. And uh yeah, he, he has the full package. Like, Peach is an amazing character, but Razo is by no means carried by the character. Like, him and Peach work together very well. <laughs> I know, for sure. And honestly, I've seen him and Nico play so many times, too. I've seen it kind of go both ways. I've seen Nico struggle a little bit. Um, but again, I don't know. This matchup, I don't feel like it's too difficult for either player here. And it's just really going to come down to who's uh, playing slightly better here. It's really close. Great recovery by Komei, but he's at 168. That forward air should kill. Razo taking game number one. As I said, he lost to Komei in Winter's Finals, and it was a 3-1 set. So for Razo to be able to take game number one, he's already pretty much doing better than he did in the previous time they played. <sighs> so let's see if Komei needs to warm up, maybe. Well, Razo just coming off of a 3-0 versus Master Mario is definitely warmed up. He's warmed up, hot, ready. Ready to get into it. Might be running back to Pokemon Stadium. Yes, we are. Just going to run it back here. Tome, yep, thinking. Looking super focused here. I'm so relaxed right now, by the way, too. I know you usually have, like, so much energy, but I'm just I'm just chilling tonight. I mean, you're fine. It's, time. it's like 1 a.m. almost. I know, like, dude. I'm no, actually it's tired. It's all good. It's been hot all day. I'm a... Sometimes I've learned... I, I, I play a lot of Smash. I watch a lot of Smash. This isn't even my main eSport. But like when you have gameplay like this, like sometimes you just let the gameplay speak for itself. Like it's the the game is so entertaining, you know. And I love just really like spectating too. It's really yeah, it's nice fun. Because it's just like man, how are they like, to be that precise with like inputs? Like to try that in the game, and it's so much harder than it was. It's actually crazy. It's like a big reason why I got into commentary. I just love you know spectating and watching, and I was like, wow, like. Yeah, our job's not hard. The players' jobs are hard right now. They're playing yeah, against sure. two. I, I mean, agree. both of these guys are playing very well. Both of them, like, need to play at their top game if they want to take this tournament. And even though Komei is on the winner side of Grand Finals, I know he's feeling the pressure. Look at that. Parrying the back air into the dash attack. Razo now with stage positioning is going to get caught by that back air. Komei going for the damage art, or buster art. Oh okay. Yeah, we're in Grands. Oh, my Jump. God. Yeah, I need to wake up here. <laughs> I didn't even realize it's a, Grand it's Finals all good. Here. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, okay, good stuff getting back onto the stage there again. Dash attack? That would have killed what? in Smash 4. They did nerf that, but the down air, or the up air, that was a float up air all the way by the ground. Very good stuff from Razo. Taking the first dock, picking up where he left off in game number one. Yeah, really precise, too, with, you know, the short hop, full hop. Super important. Peach being one of those more technical characters where movement is everything for her. Oh, um, wow. Well, and wow, that was beautiful. Almost killing at 70% there. Yeah, I think it's because he had jump art, and uh, jump art does make him like lighter in general, so he yeah. does die earlier. Exactly. He kind of has one more knockback. Ooh, nice fade back from Komei, but he's struggling right now. Razo quickly getting 99% extra credit, and Razo's playing amazing right now. This would be a great win for him. And oh my god, the smash art almost making him die across the stage to so fair. Yeah, and Razo actually still with three stocks here. Komei almost about to lose his second okay. stock. Not going to be enough with the dash attack again. He's buried like four backers in a row. Yeah, he has. Razo still on point with his parry. He's gotten a few off already. This is, this is just starting, too. Like, both of these players parrying. When Wait. That was definitely a misinput, wow. but the, he looks so badass. Plucking the turn up right in front of him. Ooh, nice DI, back. though. Nice stuff. Answering back with that fair. Oh, this Buster is, Art. Wow. Gonna eat all this damage here. Yeah. What? That was 75%. Wow, that was good. That's the Whoa. stock. Wow. Komei turning it up right there. Just with that one engagement, gets five hits. Four of them with Buster, and then the last one with the Smash Heart, taking the stock. That was relentless. That was, like, never-ending, just not giving him any time to think, to breathe even. That was beautiful coming out from Komei, actually being enough to be in the lead here, sitting at 177%. After that, we could say he's warmed up now. Woof. He's definitely warmed up. I'm, I'm more <laughs> awake from that, too. That was actually sick. Okay. Okay, again, I like the short hop there, and then into the full hop there, calling out uh, the jump. Yeah, he, he turned there. this game quickly. Now now he is up percent on this last stock. Oh, oh he tried to end it right there. Try to angle in it, too. Trying to catch him. Sliding. Really scary stuff again. And look at Beautiful parry. That's what wow. I'm saying. Razo, that would have... That was safe, a safe for a Shulk to do on shield there. But because of the parry, he ended up getting a really exactly. nice punish out of it. That was nice. 
But then the punish wasn't much because he was able to switch to the shield Monado in the middle of the down throw combo. Yeah, kind of breaking out of it again. But nevertheless, yeah. I'm just saying those. I feel like parries are kind of want to make and break the top play as well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Being really important for that top level play for sure. It's matchup dependent, but I could see versus Shulk why Razo is so uh, dominant on these parries. Because Shulk's aerials are pretty predictable. And even though he's facing them well, he's able to parry them. Because they're, they're telegraphed. Like, if Shulk is on his way down, he's going to come down with a back air, forward air, maybe in there. Exactly. Nicely said, of course. And again, actually, even here, really scary how both of these players are just, just coming down uh, to the nitty-gritty, the last bits and pieces here. Really scared that he's going to go off stage, offer that fair. Nice patience. Wow, that Peach Bomber just lingering just enough. And now Razo with stage control. The roll, though. I think he was looking for that up tilt, too, trying to space it, call out the jump. Nice, just, like, jump a lot air again. dodge going through the up tilt. Up air, not going to kill. Oh, this is so intense. So last scary. hit situation. Here, here comes the smash, but I don't know. Easily switches it out. <laughs> no need for it at this percent. Yeah, no, definitely. He can play a little more safe. He has all the stage control. Punish. Wow. Nice. This time going for the up smash, and we're seeing a little bit of a fist bump there from Razo. We've seen him get the grab every time the, with the, the forward smash was uh, shielded by Razo, but I guess this time he knew I could probably get running up smash. Very heads up play, because if he got a grab there, it wouldn't have killed. Beautiful whiff punish into that up smash there. Nicely done. Gonna take the stock. Kome actually almost uh, bringing it. It was, it was weird because Razo kind of started off strong. Kome brought it back. And then we saw Razo end up taking the second game. It was just kind of like we're seeing this reverse adaptation being thrown out here between these two players. Again, just kind of displaying the talent. Really nice stuff, and yeah, I'm just gonna opt to run it back. Pokemon Stadium for game three here. Looks like we might even see the reset coming out from Razo. Oof, wouldn't be surprised to see it. I mean, this once again, this would be an upset in my eyes. Razo, I'm not entirely sure of the ranking wow. worldwide, but I know Kome has amazing wins throughout Smash Ultimate's history, so. He's crazy, dude. Razo trying to prove a point right now that SoCal is definitely strong. And he's already doing better than he did in Winner's Finals. He lost 3-1 to Kome in Winner's Finals. And now that's going to be an SD. No, the directional air dodge offstage is detrimental. That was huge, too, because he was at like 40%. Yeah, no, he was. Huge lead. He, yeah, he had a lead, but now it's Razo that's up a stock. That is not going to kill. It's unfortunate, but we do take those. And I mean, yeah. and that's definitely not going to be complaining about that. Is this it? See the reset. Okay, nice. Down air oh, pressure man. in the fair. Dying again as early as 70%. Even have the jump uh, art out as well, which had that extra knockback. So, yeah. Clean stock coming out from Razo there, and a really big, huge advantage here. Sitting with three stocks, pretty comfortable. As I say that, though, gonna close it out with the up B out of shield there. Uh, great punish. Yeah, Razo playing out of control right now. Um, as you guys can see, Razo is in loser's side of grand finals. So, if he does win this game, it's a bracket reset, and we'll have another best of five. But what is Komei going to do about this Peach? I mean, game two was extremely close, but this is this, this set is almost in the books. Unless you can never count Shulk out. You really can't never count Shulk out. I'm not even going to count him out, too. <laughs> Japanese players kind of play like a whole different. They play so differently, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever like observe the Japanese players. But yeah. their play, just how they play the game, the, technica like the technical aspects to it, they just like, they're they very methodical. They're very methodical. Yeah. They're very smart, intelligent. They know what they're doing. Um, and I wouldn't be, be surprised if Kome brings it back with Shulk. Might even see it here if he gets a proper uh, proper, proper edge guard. Not going to go off for it. He's going to stay then. and get the ledge tap, but nice roll onto the stage. Kome yeah. just not expecting it. Forward throw, not going to kill. And now he's going deep with the jump art. He wants that fair. Wow, but Peach Bomber is such a great tool off stage for recovering and for ledge guarding. Exactly. And now. It's kind of hard to edge guard Peach. Yeah. She's one of those characters oh, no, that makes it more difficult. Oh, no, she's extremely hard to edge guard, believe me. Nice parry into the dash attack. We've seen that time and time again already from Razo. And the speed art still not enough. Razo just playing so safe. And no punish on the on the whiff down B. And the Nair's going to take it. Razo with the 3 0 on Kome. Razo. Isn't that crazy that move kills Nair, Nair out of shield? That yeah. is so strong. There's not yeah. a lot of characters where Nair out of shield uh, will be enough. Where is Razo going? Razo, yeah, he just jumped up really quick. Mm -hmm. And he's not, he, oh, he walked past the bathroom. I guess he's 
running to the bar maybe to get a drink? Maybe yeah, he's probably thirsty. Water? I don't know. I'm getting kind of thirsty here myself. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> mouth getting a little dry. But yeah, he's probably just going to get himself some water really quick. And with that reset, might even shake off the nerves a little bit, kind of just reset himself. I usually call that the con con, just jokingly, because <laughs> I don't know if you've ever noticed con con usually, like in between or like sets or whatever, he'll get up, use the restroom, that type of thing. So that's like an ongoing joke I'll usually always mention on stream. Yeah, knowing Razzle, he's just getting some water. Yeah, I mean, he, he just reset the bracket against a very strong player. Like I said, dude. probably the best shot player in the world. I'd, be, sha I'd be shaky. I'd get the nerves, <laughs> dude. That's Here we go, Razzle. Yeah. Defending SoCal. Razzle actually, I've been talking to him lately. Um, he wants to coach most of SoCal. He wants SoCal to level up. There's so many locals. There's so much money to be made in the local scene in SoCal. Yeah. But he's not worried about the money. He, he wants SoCal to just be better, he's, and, and in turn, he has better competition, and, and we could all level up. And he's offering free coaching right now for his immediate region and in Inland Empire, but he wants to help coach SoCal just in general. I didn't even know that. That's yeah. so that's really good uh, to get information. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's nice of him. That's, you know, going above and beyond to do that for free, too. That's a lot of work, a lot of time. Right. Um, and obviously. he is qualified, in my, my opinion. And, and his coaching isn't just in the gameplay, but it's also mentality how you should look at competing. Don't play for the money, take away emotions, just play play your best, play to learn. And Absolutely I feel like a right. lot of these players could learn from Razo. So. And, I, and I'm glad that his mentality is working for him, as you guys can see. His peach is out of control. Yeah, if Samsora is watching right now, I bet Samsora is impressed. Like this peach, this is good peach <laughs> play. This is really good. I would think so. And yeah. this is a hard matchup if this is one of the harder matchups for peach. He probably doesn't it lose, is. but I know peach struggles a little bit versus swords and Shulk is by, by no means an exception to that. Um, should be one of the harder matches with Peach, and I think Razo's doing very well uh, displaying how to deal with it, the counterplay. He's doing an exceptional job, and like he's saying, it's just kind of showing um, the familiarity Ooh. with the matchup as well. I know we do have a few soul players out here, so. Nico, yeah. Getting that practice as well, super important. I know they actually do play a lot. Um, yeah. But yeah, Razo just playing on point here, and honestly, his key play is looking Ooh. so nice. We're gonna die for that at 97, that's back air with the <laughs> Smash Monado, gonna yeah. kill pretty early. Um, it's going to even it right back up. There's that combo break there, the shield. But still actually going to eat 46 damage. I mean, Peach doesn't have any tr problem at all. Just kind of really quickly racking up the, the damage. She has great killing potential, power. She's got it all. She's definitely Literally, got it all. Literally, she's got it all. The hardest part about Peach is just the learning curve because she's technical with their flow cancels and stuff. She is. But Razo, like we said before, he's like a four or five year Peach main. So the muscle memory is there, runs off stage, Maybe. gets the fair. And Razo, he's been in the lead for most of this grand finals. Gets the 3-0, now up a full stock in game number one. Man, Gomi looking so scary. They look at him like go off stage there and then get the connection with the back air. Nice, another one, parry down Woo. tilt. I'm saying Razzle's parries right now are a huge part of why he's winning these games and getting these uh, these punishes, because otherwise these would be safe aerials on shield. They would, they would definitely be safe. And the spacing too, he's doing everything right, but because, yeah, exactly mm. what you're saying, the parries, gonna run up and grab here. <laughs> that speed Monado dash grab was just so fast. So I blinked. Fast. Ooh, okay, waiting really patient here, trying to search for something here, not gonna get it in the reversal situation. Look at him roll. Right in front of Razo there. I'm really surprised we didn't see a harder punish coming out from Razo, but again. Now, ooh, oh, no. okay. Throw it down, it down there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> the bomb that was scary. Okay. I, I thought he that was going to connect, actually. No, really Komei probably saw it, and he's like, I'm not getting hit by this. I refuse. Forward throw does kill because of the smash heart, but 110% for Razo. That's plenty enough for him to close out this game. Nice forward air. That actually did 20-something percent, too, because of Buster Arc. So yeah, back air should be able to take it, and it does. No Razo. Or anything? She just she has crazy <laughs> power, dude. Yeah. All of her stuff kills. That's what I'm saying. Like you were mentioning something about her dash attack, but I'm like she can't have everything yeah. kills. She had her dash attack, her nair, <laughs> back throw was nerfed yeah. a little bit, but you know I, I I feel like they actually did kind of touch Peach in the places where she needed to be, you know, fixed up on. Um, yeah, she's just one of those characters, man. So good. What do you think about the gold Peach? 
I used to use black and yellow Ness all I the time. I use black so. and yellow, yeah. yeah. I, I use the... Uh, <laughs> it looks dope. I don't think they design. had gold peach in Smash 4, so I like it. Pretty shiny. Really yeah. nice. She's, she's cute, for sure. And for all you peach mains out there, this is the Razo peach color, okay? He's, he's secured this color. If you're using gold, it's because you're you're, you're giving tribute to Razo, okay? He's using gold because he's making that <laughs> coin now. <laughs> making that bank. Sansora has default peach. He has red peach. He has pretty yeah. much a lot of them unlocked. Those are all Sansoras. But gold... This is Razo's. Oh, man. <laughs> Double there. Out of shield there. Again, just being one of those faster options. The technical aspects of this character, too. Just never ceases to amaze me. Again, ooh, utilizing that platform beautifully. Going to get that fair, kind of falling down fair off the platform. Nice. nice he pretty much wait. read the regular get up there right there, just dashing back in, getting that grab. He just needed to wait and shield like he was doing. Yeah. As the initial get up. He dashed away for a second just in case Komei rolled. But then he dashed right back in, right as Komei in, but a get up. Komei's struggling right now. I want to know what's going through his head. Like, how can I adapt to this Peach, who very clearly has adapted since Winner's Finals? And uh, this is tough. This, this is, is very tough. Too. Komei hasn't even taken a game. This is just yeah. showing. He's lost four in a row. SoCal's still in it, man. I know people are saying SoCal <laughs> isn't all there, but we still are representing. And like I told you earlier, Master Mario kind of taking, uh, you know, Dark Wizard, Evo Game 5, beating yeah, him there. Yeah, that's like, a big we, win. We're, we're still in here. We are. We are region still not one to just take lightly. For sure, by no means. And, and Komei definitely kind of getting a little taste of the scene here. Razo performing so well here. Possibly uh, might even take this second game in the reset. Okay. Have a lot of knockback and beautiful edge guard with the fair there. Wow, nice dodge there, that back air. And Razo still alive here on his first stock. I thought he was dead for a second there, but Razo fighting so hard right now. And I love his patience. He's going to get grabbed. That's not going to be a KO, though. Just kind of ran up and did it, too. Get him out. Razo gets his stage positioning back. Smash How Heart. How does it make it look that easy? <laughs> oh, and the back throw with Smash Heart is going to take it. Good job on Komei right before Smash, it, Smash Heart went away. And now we're going to see it's tied up here in stocks. But Razo, once again, plenty of extra credit before losing that stock. Uh, sitting pretty comfortable. Even stocks here, but the percent not as much. And Buster, ooh, you definitely going to want to switch out of that because you're going to eat more damage. Oh, no. With having that out wow. should be enough. Yeah, jump and auto art is He crazy. switched into it last second. Beautiful sure. stuff, but another one, another parry. I've seen so many parries ooh. in that. It's not going to be it. Razo, make sure you keep stage control. Buddy is going to get clipped there. Beautiful back airs. He did two right there so fast. <laughs> Flo Kenzo back air is so scary. Okay, but here's the speed art coming out. Gonna switch off of it already. Yep, gonna off the buster. counter. Beautiful counter there. Uh -huh. And honestly, that's so smart too. At that percent, throw it out. He's throwing out constant attacks. That was really uh, a good option for Mazo there. Ooh, there's all these re grabs. Yeah, Tommy is getting. Oh, yeah, sure. How nice switch to the shield. Okay, there's a shield arc, kind of slowing his speed down, but again, being that combo breaker, gonna offer the best Buster art again. And honestly, Buster. It, it racks up the damage so easily, but again, Komei being on his last stock, kind of like a little risky too, because he will also eat more damage, and Razo still has the stock advantage here. Ooh, trying to get that up B. Only getting the first, uh, not opting for the second hit of the up B yeah. there, um, obviously. Nice Raza counter, actually, it. but Komei with the nice. jump art is able to actually go for two forward airs in the blast zone. Okay, Komei brought this back. 55% is nothing really for Shulk, but as he gets hit with the Buster art, that Nair did like 15 damage, so... As we know, most of the arts, they, they're, they're double-edged swords. So when he has that Buster Art, he gives a lot more damage, but he also takes <coughs> more damage. So now Razo also knowing that, tax on 90%. But here comes the Speed Art combos. So fast. Yeah. Nice back air. And here's the Smash Art. This could be the stock right here. Forward this tilt, really scary. forward air, anything could kill. Oh, I know. I just don't see. He's not opting. Uh, he's not really getting. Uh, I don't think I've seen him throw up tilt once, actually, which is really surprising. I know uh, yeah. Nico, when he's at the ledge there in the ledge trapping situation, he'll definitely throw it out, especially because Peach just love to jump. Yeah. And that's usually what they're doing. So I'm really surprised he isn't using an anti air against Peach. I'm All really right. Surprised, but, but here we go. They have two fairs in a row. And now Razo upping super early. This is scary. Upping super early again. Dodges what? one up air. Get back. Wow. Razo making that look. That was so scary. He was yeah. just in his little parasol, chilling, like not worrying oh. about a thing. Jump Monado, maybe. Oh my oh, God! Wow. Got pineapple. The turn up snipes. It was a snipe, but then he actually got pineapple yeah. under the stage there. Yeah, that was an interesting engagement. Beautiful stuff from Razo. How did he just? How did he just? glide right in front of him and just kind of drifted back really nice mix up on the recovery making that that was terrifying to me i feel like 
Kome was, you know, already looking for those fares, so the fact that he just he went for an up air though, and the up air is a very specific hitbox. Um, I wonder why. Yeah, he probably should have went for a fair, but yeah, that's game two in in grand final set one was the same way. It was super last hit, but Razo clutched it out. And again, we're going to see Razo clutch out a game two. I see a possible 6-0 coming yeah. out here from Razo. That's a statement. And that is a huge statement. I'd like to know how many people have ever 3-0'd Kome, never mind a 6-0 bracket reset. That's very impressive stuff from Razo. And uh, sure. yeah, let's see if he can close it out. Um, we see plenty of comebacks. I feel like if Kome is able to get one game, then he could kind of like get his composure back. But right now, every time it's come down to a last hit, Razo has been the one to clutch it out. And uh, Kome's right there with him. It's not like it's a blowout. But five games in a row, that is by no means easy to do versus a player like Kome. Yeah, no, you're definitely right. And again, these uh, these games being so mentally tasking too, as yeah. we know, this game just uh, to be able to reset and just win uh, consistently here on another well-known player, one of the top in the world, as we were saying, Shulk Mains. I think he's the best Shulk in the world. A lot of people say that. Really? I love Nico. Nico's up there as well. Um, I, I, I I'd be curious it. to see who has the better placements. But Kome, long time Shulk me. And uh, it's cool to see him out here in SoCal. He definitely came for Switch Fest, but he's lingering around a little bit. Been here for about a week. He wants that practice, man. <laughs> he yeah. definitely wants it at SoCal. Yeah, Meki, the, the yeah, Peach yeah. player from Japan, he's in trouble after this. I mean, Kome is going to he's gonna be like, all right, I need to beat Peach next time. And uh, he's still trying to do it right now. Is up a stock. But not anymore. I love the caster's curse. I feel like I have power right now. <laughs> yeah, no, you do. You say something that happens. <laughs> We're literally uh, telling fortunes here. <laughs> he's up a stock? No, he's not. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. And again, why are we running it back to Pokemon Stadium every time? I just want to know. The whole I'm set has been on PS2. This is the best neutral in the game. A lot of people agree that. And I feel uh, it, but I feel yeah. like also, you know, Shulk could have uh, had some good counter sure. uh, stages for sure. Keep in mind, too, I feel like uh, the Japanese players, they play with a lot of pride. They play with a lot of honor. And I'm pretty sure their rule set right now just has PS2, Battlefield, and FD. So oh. for him to be uh, content just staying on PS2, I'm not surprised. Makes um, sense. They yeah. definitely just want it to be more neutral based. That's definitely what this game is all about, as exactly. we know. Yeah. All about the neutral. Um, and honestly, Razo. I mean, honestly, it's been pretty close all of the games. You know, yeah. Razo hasn't really had like a huge extended. No, Razo's clutching up a lot of these games. Yeah, he's he's really clutching is. up. It's, it's not easy. He's getting plenty of parries. Last hit situations. He's coming out strong. What? These turn up snipes. He's not dead though. Oh, he is. I lied. I, lied. Yeah, <laughs> I thought he had jump art. <laughs> give him out of that for sure. That was a beautiful turn up snipe coming out from Razo. And again, just doing little stuff here and there, which is also hard to do. But he makes it look like it's just oh. We can do that really quickly. Like, it's crazy. I honestly want to go back and just like get a parry counter for Razo, because he's like he's threatening like the Guinness Book of World Records right now for most parries in the Grand Finals. Because he's parrying like sure. every other aerial. It's so impressive. It is. I kind of just patiently wait to shield too. I really like that about Razo too. He's one of those peach mates that really oh mixes up his movement uh, really well. He was it, he really isn't even in the air like too much. He's yeah. Like, very patient and then honestly. He thinks ahead. It's kind of like an advanced chess game. Oh, yeah. Both of them are definitely thinking multiple steps ahead. ahead. That's at the high level of Smash. That's a, that's a, that's granted. Yeah, no, for sure. And again, look at these uh, hitboxes being thrown Ooh, out for Razo. into How a do you Tomahawk. Approach? Woo parry into a Tomahawk. Razo, God, a you're man. playing like a madman right now. This very well, very well might be it. Yeah, this might be it. Might be enough here. But here's an opportunity for Kome here. If we see, okay, there's a switch to the. Uh, Different arts are kind of hopping around. There's that smash art being thrown out. This is scary. Oh, this is that situation. That okay. Nope. Not giving enough from across the stage. Jump or speed art. Another last hit situation. Razo has won five games in a row because of these last hits. He wins every time. But is Kome going to finally clutch one out? Four okay, smash. And that's yes. a yes. Kome finally getting one on the board. And like I said, I feel like a player like Kome, very strong mental fortitude. I think that's all he wanted was to take one game and then just kind of run with it after that. So going into game four, if I'm Razo, look how fast they went to PS2. This is a full PS2 grand final. The scary <laughs> thing is, too, is he can still do it, too. If he just no, takes yeah, uh, two, not two more games, that's all it will take. Uh, possibly could see a game five situation here. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't be surprised to see it. I've seen it happen so many times. Um, and honestly, Bringing it back to the colors really quickly, too. I like how he's kind of using, like, the golden Shulk. I really like yeah. the color skin. Oh, yeah. Shulk has some really cool alts. He, he really does. Yeah. 
Wow, so Town Smash not safe right there on hit because of yeah. Shield Art. Interesting. Ooh, no tech. tech. Gets the down throw, back air, no Shield Art right now. Not really, I feel like he could have gotten a little more optimal punish, but that was still nice. You know, down throw bear grab. is good. Yeah, down throw bear is like 20 something damage. Take it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you gotta be taking those. Uh, Ooh, ooh, nice preemptive up B, beating out the Peach Bomber, and then the space back air now with the smash art and gets the up B, but it doesn't connect with both hits. Yeah, he tried to get that uh, that up B off stage. You wanted to catch him. Yeah, that's a that's Shulk bread and butter ledge guarding is uh, getting that reverse up B. God, the crowd in the background. What is happening? They're popping off over literally nothing over there. So <laughs> let's ignore them. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and again, there's that. Uh, Combo Staller there. Again, the Shield Art. Look how fast he is. Turn up the Shield, excuse me, the Speed Art coming out here. And again, that situation where he uh, has the ledge. Raws are so good getting out of those disadvantaged situations as we're seeing time and time again. Yeah, he went for a raw Peach Bomber, but um, if it missed, it would have it canceled. So it's pretty safe. And wow, the what? forward air catching him with the earliest hitbox. Actually throwing up the Turnip, uh, kind of applying some pressure that way too. And then solidifying okay. it with the fair. He keeps getting away with these early up Bs. And I know it's not easy to punish Pete's Parasol because of the float and unfloat. But wow, Razo is getting away with murder right now in these grand finals. Slightly uh -oh. misspacing that down air, but doesn't even matter. Still going to rack up this damage super yep. fast. Sitting uh, almost, uh, almost max rage a little bit. There's the up tilt, finally. I think, I think that's like the first time I've seen it being thrown out here. Oh, okay. and the up B almost punishing the roll, but not quite. And Razo at 150%. Still alive here on his first stock. And finally, he punishes the Peach Bomber with a reverse forward tilt. Going to be enough. Take it out here, even it back oh up my God. a little bit. Speed Art Ooh. is so scary. I can't Speed Art out. I, I don't fight against Speed Art. It reminds me of Sheik. I mean, he was just, Razo actually doing a really good job, though, being in that stage, just kind of waiting in shield again, like I'm saying, and then he gets some grabs. He's so good at knowing uh, when to be, like, aerial, you know, momentum wow. based on or on the ground. Yeah, but that being said, Razo tied up now. Komei got a nice string there, 95 on each player. I'm trying to read that get up jump, too, with the fair there. Not going to get it that time, but uh, he's been getting that a lot on Kome. We've seen a lot of stocks taken that way. And again, now there's a reversal situation. His opportunity is kind of slipping from Kome here. Raza more, uh, mostly dominating at the ledge, and Kome not getting the proper uh, ledge traps that we're used to seeing from Shulk players. Yeah. A little bit surprised. There's that pressure on the platform above him. Not going to get it. Oh, and the double roll gets called out by the short hop back here. Kome in the lead once again. But not much of a lead, especially if Razo gets the Trump Nair? Was that a Trump yeah, Nair? Yeah, that was Trump Nair. <laughs> Razo, you're sick. How is that uh -oh. going to work? Okay, Shield Art is so clutch in this matchup. What? Because Peach would have got like a 60% combo there. Did you nice see parry. him parry and then just roll right away, like try and get that grab? Like yeah. he just knows the timing. He's like almost perfected it. Yeah, his parries are amazing. He's, he's, he's one of those players that when he parries, it's very intentional. And it's hard parrying uh, aerial approaches like that. Yeah. That's hard. That's really, really difficult. It Getting seems necessary, though. I don't think he would be winning these many games versus Komei without these parries. And uh, yeah, Razo just putting it all together. Ooh. But this ledge trap looking very scary. Shield art forward air. This is what we need to see from Komei here. There's that smash art being thrown out, out again. Komei wants a game number five. You can tell he's turning it up to another gear right now. But he gets hit by a forward air. That was like another 20% forward air. That has to hurt. Nice parry and into the, the parry, grab. Razo. Can Razo do it? Can Razo take two sets back to back on Komei? He's one stock away. Might be enough. Trying oh to God. defend his house in SoCal. Komei. What are you going to do oh about this SoCal man. Peach no, This is so scary. We have the Smash Hard out again. Komei could have got a much stronger what? punish, maybe just a forward tilt or something. That's, I don't know. Yeah, he didn't offer any option after that. Yeah, Peach down smash pretty laggy. Okay, there's his Nairs out of shield. Again, that pressure with the back air on shield is so scary, too. Kind of has a lot of uh, shield stun as well. Okay, so patiently. I like the back air out of shield again. All right, so another last hit situation. Hey, forward air. Komei wins two back to back. We're going to game number five, folks. What amazing set. <laughs> this matchup is nutty. It's actually absolutely nutty. Peach versus. These are two of the best characters in the game. Like, they're up there, this undoubtedly. Is, this is crazy top yeah. level play that we're seeing. Yeah, right it definitely now. This is. This very advanced. And uh, for Komei, you know, to be down again, almost seeing the 6 0 there, and then kind of getting, you know, his two games here, all he needs is that one more to. Uh, 
to close out the night here for Wednesday night fights. So this is a game five situation. Again, guys, we are sitting in grand finals here. Razo, Kome, gonna opt back to the Pokemon Stadium. Just gonna get right into it. Really excited to see how this game five goes. Both of these players uh, showing well-deserved by all means here. And um, again, kind of just seeing a lot of the same stuff, but uh, the pressure, really scary. Okay, let's bust it hard. Again, I like that, uh, okay. Nice little reversal, up B, out of shield. With the Buster Manaro, gonna keep a little bit more percent there. He's there, it's on shield, so safe. Really nice spacing coming out from Kome here. There's again, look how relentless Kome's going in. I feel like he's almost, uh, not really slightly figuring out Razo, but he's definitely coming in with better approaches and kind of slowing it down a little bit here. Yeah, both players have adapted. There's a lot of counterplay going on with these, with these last few games, but Kome's finally caught on. And we're seeing a lot more punishes he wasn't getting before. These guys are neck and neck, by the way. 120 on this first stock. Nice up B there to punish the whip grab. Forward throw is going to kill. Beautiful stuff from Kome getting that dash grab. But oh. no extra credit for him. Razo falling with that forward air. Don't be sitting under me like that, dude. Yeah. That's, uh, that's <laughs> scary. Yeah, Kome needs to go somewhere right there. We got an invincible peach on his on our way down. He like took his time. Like he was thinking about it. You don't have time <laughs> to think. That's what I'm saying. These players just still go in. We're going really quick, real relentless, and they're not going to give you time to think at all. Just going to even it back right up. Again, there's that shield. Shield, shield art so crucial because at low percents, Peach gets a lot of combos. But with shield art, he kind of stops them halfway through. He gets a lot of those lower uh, combos as well, which is great because Peach definitely gets a lot of those uh, low, you know, 0 to 40 percent combos. So him breaking out of that is actually um, huge for Komi. Yeah, Shulk can't really do much about this low recovery from Peach, so very smart on Razo going for that. No punish on the whiffed up B. Good drift back from Ra uh, from Kome. Kome actually waiting for the air dodge, but not getting the hit. Now Razo. Going for those hard reads there, <laughs> you know he wants it. Okay, again. Nice spacing on the arrows again. Smash one. Okay, both characters being really patient. Like to see it here. That's smart though from Razo. He, he timed out the smash art. That was very smart. And now with jump art, still not going to make it back. Another turn up snipe for Razo. Now in the advantage up a stock. Komi going to try to make sure he doesn't get any extra credit, and he does very well. Reverse up B with the smash art. Last stock, game number five, set number two. Going to close it out. That actually <laughs> just evened it up, and he died at yeah. 90. Both these players just being so back and forth here. Who do you this got? Who do you got? Call it. Oh, man. I Who's don't know. I, I actually feel like Kome somehow is going to bring it back. But again, yeah, he Razo, has the momentum. He does. He really has the momentum here. And All right. I'll take Razo. Razo I'll take bit. Razo. All right. I mean, <laughs> I, hey, I want to say Ko SoCal's got it. But again, uh, Kome really just showing that he's kind of figuring out Razo a little bit more here and actually getting a lot mo a lot of more uh, kill confirms that he Woo! Down air. <gasps> Forder doesn't connect. Air dodge is going to bring it back. Oh Kome God. is still alive. That was almost it. Okay, and the, and the spacing too. Look at that F tilt. Like, so Nair, pressure as dash well. grab. Is that grab? Nair. Down air. He's probably gonna. Oh, he goes for the stage bike with the back air. Not gonna connect. Kome is in God. kill percent right now. He needs to be careful. Shield art is online. Let's see if Kome. If Kome gets grabbed, he's gonna switch to shield art. But he takes out Buster instead. I like it. Gets the fair. Really deadly for Razo too, especially because uh -oh. he's just at 80 percent back to 100 here. <gasps> and that's, that's it. Gonna be enough? No. And Kome oh clutches my God. it. Beautiful spaced back air with the smash art. Kome showing oh. the resilience. Beautiful. Out. Great Ooh, set. Yeah. Great performance from these guys. Very good stuff. It's past 1 a.m. here in SoCal. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was an amazing set. Great and comeback down. from Kome. And, and Razo just needed that one more game, too. And Kome just having all the momentum in the world there, getting that uh, th reverse 3 uh, uh, oh there. And that yeah. was just. I'm telling you, he's just kind of had all the momentum there, and I feel like, I don't know why, I just felt kind of going to take it and just kind of get the upset. <laughs> Momentum's very important in Smash. And, uh, it really even is. Even though it was wow. neck and neck, Kome definitely had the reads on point. Switched to the Smash art. I and mean, er earlier in that set, yeah. in that game, you saw the Smash art forward throw, so I think Razo was afraid of that, so he, 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 he got aggressive, and Kome just did the back, the safe back air. So. Yeah, he was definitely very getting a lot more edge guards. Um, with you know his adaption coming out there, and, and honestly, I like how they hugged it out at the end. That was really oh, nice, yeah. showing good sportsmanship. Oh yeah, that sometimes can be super frustrating to just know that wow, I was last stock, last hit, mm -hmm. two games there, and just being slightly out of it. But again, just also kind of um, 
showcase again the talent from all regions. Japan definitely being one of the best regions in the world for Smash. Oh, no doubt. No definitely. Doubt. And 